Hey everyone! We'll be creating this diving system in the third person character template. We're going to be covering a range of topics like animations and blend spaces to manipulating the character's gravity and camera field of view. Also, I provided some animations I'll be using in the tutorial free for you guys in the description. First, let's import our animations. From the zip file provided, we're going to drag out all the animations in the UE5 mannequin folder and we're going to select the mannequin for our skeleton. Next, we're going to go to the templates animations and we're going to duplicate fall loop into two additional animations, additive and pose versions. In the pose animation, we're going to clear all frames except for zero. Then in the additive animation, we're going to use mesh space and frame from selected animation. The selected animation we're going to be using is going to be our pose animation. Now let's create our diving blend space. In here, we're going to set the minimum speed to negative 4000 and our maximum speed to zero. We're going to enable snap to grid. And for our grid divisions, this will be how many poses we're using. So set this to four. Then we can add the poses from right to left like so. Fall pose as one. Transition A as two. Transition B as three. And finally dive as four. Then we're going to duplicate the dive blend space and name this fall. In here, we're going to remove the two and third poses, replacing the fourth one with the skydive. All right, now in our third person character, we're going to add an input for diving. I'll be using left control for the tutorial, and we're going to create a Boolean variable for diving and set this to true when pressed and false when released. Next two float variables, are going to be for desired gravity and FOV. On pressed, we're going to set desired gravity to 3 and desired FOV to 120. Then we're going to set these to 1.75 and 90 respectively. Next, we're going to create an event tick if you don't have one already. And we're going to get the desired gravity, then get and set the gravity scale from the movement component. For our set, we're using a F in Terp2 for a smooth transition. Plugging in our gravity scale and desired gravity into current and target, then using world delta seconds for delta time, then finally 5 for our speed. For our FOV, we're going to duplicate the previous code except get and set the field of view from the camera, and use desired FOV. We're going to set these floats to their default values 1.75 and 90. Now inside our animation blueprint, inside the event graph, we're going to replace the character cast with third person character. Then for the character variable, also replace this with the third person character and connect these up. Next, we're going to duplicate velocity and split the pin, then promote Z to a new variable, fall speed. Next, we're going to get the character and get diving from it and promote this in a new variable and connect it up to the sequence. Now in our anim graph, open main states, go to fall loop, Delete the sequence and we're going to get both blend spaces and plug the fall speed in and add a mesh space additive and set the alpha to 0.25. We're then going to drag out our fall additive animation and hook this up to the additive pin. Then we're going to get our diving variable and then add a blend by bool and connect our additive nodes and set true time to 0.25 and false time to 0.35. And there we go, we've now created a diving system. Feel free to customize and expand upon this foundation in your own projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon. Thank you for watching.